Welcome back to Pinky's Palace for more Rimworld, where I'm very, very, very happy with the way things are looking. It's our second day in this colony, and we survived the heat wave. It's now only 37 degrees outside, a balmy 37 degrees, going up to 38, okay? I might have spoken too soon. Um, it was sort of up to 52 yesterday, which was unbelievable. That's like hotter than the surface of the sun. Says science. Meow! Cargo pods. Ooh, it landed right on us. How good's that? Look at that, guys. Cycloid leaves. You can stick them in and maybe sell them at a later date for cheese or something else that we might want. Good. Okay, so we've got our lovely trump wall around the outside of the bottom here, which I am very happy with. We've got our little alpaca. We've got our three legged cat called Crouton who has uh, missing a tail after a fox uh, bit it off. Um, you guys are leaving, but you can't trade with us, can you? So that's fine. You guys just go away to whatever it is you're doing. Um, how are we doing for food? We've got seven meals ready, which is good. And we've got a lot in the way of produce. So let's get some more bushes. Plenty more bushes to eat. And we'll start doing some hunting as well. Let's hunt the babbits. Got this lovely deer farm down here. I'm not going to try um, hunting anything big where there's a chance of it eating my face um, until we get some better weapons. Because the last thing I need is for one of my colonists to get injured whilst hunting. I don't think a rabbit's going to hurt us too badly. So we'll go for rabbits and rats and maybe turkeys. Although one turkey did have a go at us earlier and uh, we managed to evade the turkey though that was trying to eat our face and uh, get safely back home without further injury. But there might be a little bit of a turkey bite on one of these guys, which is a shame. Good, so what is it now? 41 degrees, blimey that's a bit hot. Let's have a quick look. Heat stroke initial, 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 initial. Oh my goodness, oh, it's four o'clock. I suppose you free the day now, aren't you? That's okay, yeah, it's going away. A bit worried. I don't want these guys to die. I want them to stay and make beautiful uh, electric electric objects with me once we learn how to research electricity that is so is anyone doing any research we are waiting for complex clothing like cowboy hats pants and dusters and then then we will make beds oh no a roost collapsed where is that It's a roof, is it? <gasps> what idiot put a roof over that? Careful, Anastasi, because uh, if that thing falls on us, we're in trouble. I've had people killed by collapsed roofs before. Yeah, collapsed roofs are a thing. A thing that kills. So a good thing about this colony is we've got uh, two people who are night owls, so they do all their work at night. And three of them that do all their work during the daytime. So they're less likely to annoy each other because they're going to be on different work shifts, which I think is amazing uh, and I'm really happy about. Yeah, it's looking good. We've got some meals. So the plan, once we get a little bit more stone, is to erect another stone wall around the outside. 
and I'm thinking about making some choke points around the doors so we can put turrets in the choke points it might be an idea we're not going to be able to do much down here because I haven't left myself any room to put another wall on the inside of this which is a little bit of a a, a foobar or a foobar or whichever kind of par you'd like um, but I'm not sure as too much is going to come from this side I suppose it's possible it's only a very small corner of the map and if bad guys come from this side they're going to have to go through here where all of these scribs are the splelopedes which I think are a pretty good uh, good reason not to come through there or I suppose I could just come up there and ignore them if I block that off though that means people have to go through the splelopedes All this silver here as well, it just landed in a meteorite. So yeah, I think we're looking good. Just have to keep keeping on. Keep on keeping on and see what happens. We've got loads of meat. Okay, we don't need to worry too much about food now. So what we will do, let's start thinking about the next step, which is going to be cotton. So let's cotton on to this idea. And then maybe some heel root? No, we don't have for skill. Okay. No, 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 no. Cotton, 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 cotton. The next one we can do is corn. There you go, that could be corn. Just for a little bit of variety in their diet. And maybe we can get some strawberry fields down here. Good. So that's everything planted. Ancient danger. Where's that, Anastasia? Is that in here? Oh wow, we've got ancient danger right on our doorstep. Wonderful. Okay, we can ignore that for now. stop confusing her. I think she's trying to get into places that she can't get into there. Yeah? I think all the roof's gone but just to be safe we're just gonna put some supports in there. Just for safety. So what's the temperature? 35. How's our health? You're okay, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. I think we got through that. That is fabulous. So my last colony, bless their cotton socks, they were so wonderful. I was really happy with them. Like I'm happy with this lot. And then they all died to heat stroke, one after another. Which is horrible. And I cried. Real tears. Maybe I shouldn't get so emotionally involved in this game. But it's difficult. You invest time, effort, energy, and dare I say it, love into our communities. And to have your colonists snatched away by a cruel twist of fate, it hurts sometimes. It does hurt. So happy with this. 
Look at this. It's just like a totally enclosed ecosystem. These deer are going to get so many if, <laughs> if they've got no natural predators. Apart from us. Got some hill rear out here. There's quite a lot. Did I leave a door here? No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. You guys can walk around and get that. I don't want too many doors. Summer! Yes, food doesn't grow in winter, I know. Okay, who's my researcher? Maybe we could double up on this. Okay, so Legua is my researcher. What are you doing? You're doing construction, are you? Okay, let's get you off that. I just want you researching, that's it. Right, who else have we got? We've got Landoa. And you're a night owl as well. So let's see if we can get one of these daytime folks. So that'll be Anastasi. So Anastasi, let's get you researching as well. You're our builder. Oh dear. Well, I don't need anything built at the moment. I can turn that off for the moment. Because research is really where it's at at the moment. Okay, that's done. Lego, thank you very much for doing that. Let's just get you in here and do some research, please. Thank you. Good girl. So many. Don't actually need to go out for these ones. We've got plenty at home. Yeah, I think time really is like one of the biggest resources in here for us to uh, to worry about. Cut some mushrooms. Never done that before. Right, all the meat's gone now. Okay, that's interesting. Right, that kind of tells me that I need to go hunting at least once a day. No more berries. Shall we hunt a deer? Have a look. H3. Let's get an old one. Who's the oldest? 12. Okay, let's do it. A bit worried, just in case it goes bonkers and tries to kill us. But that should give us some food for at least a few days. Nice big deer. it separate it from a herd careful don't hit the others well done who wants to cook that then what well about Anastasi? You're quite into your hauling, aren't you, Anastasi? So we might have to just put an end to that. Much as I love it that you're doing hauling, let's uh, just get you researching. 
That's all I want you doing. I have to remember next time I ask someone to construct something that she's uh, she's off construction. So I was going to go for the houses here, or at least the communal area. So I want to get a table for them so they can eat eat at a table. Can we fit a table in here? Why not, eh? Right, so apart from my researchers, who could do construction? So we've got Kraus, Landona and Abrenino. Construction 2. Construction 4. Okay, Landoa, let's put you on construction. You've got quite a full plate already, haven't you? So you're my cook as well. Right, anyone else like cooking? Both give it a go, I reckon. Excellent. Excellente. Oh, this is so good because like having the the split work shifts means you've always got something going on as well. 74 bits of meat. So I've got low food. Manhunter pack. Okay, so we should be okay. It's a manhunter pack of one monkey. One single monkey. Now, hopefully he's not going to be able to get in. If he can get in, then there's no point in us having these doors and walls. So let's have a look. No, 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 no. Indoors, now. Don't let the door open for the monkey. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. As long as we don't go out there. It can be a manhunter. It can hunt as many men as, men's as it wants. What would be really interesting is if a trading party comes past. Because then it will go for them. There's nothing I need outside of this door. Right, any more berries? So good. You up to Anastasi? You're having a wander, are you? That's fine. You have a wander, my darling. You're doing such a sterling job. Research is coming along now. Oh my goodness. Okay, what do we need next? Uh, next, we're going to probably need the old uh, construction bench for. We could make a sculpt's table. Get some art. So 
some bad art that we can sell to wandering pirates with no taste in uh, no taste in art. Oh, I love having these bushes on our doorstep. So good. Look at them all. Yum 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 yum. Right, what else have we got? We've still got this mega sloth over here, but I'm a little bit dubious about taming it in case it, it tries to eat my face. You guys cut these plants yet? Yes, you have. Look, got mushrooms, raw fungus. Wow, never had raw fungus before. <laughs> so, Mr. Monkey, you're just going to stay there all day, are you? Maddened, maddened monkey. Melee DPS 1.63. Okay, interesting. It's a good job monkeys can't climb walls, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Just want to keep an eye on them because I have told them to go outside and do some uh, deconstruction up here. The last thing we need is one of them to go wandering out into this mad monkey. Look at that, we got fungus! <laughs> We've also got some fine meals! Oh, look at this, guys! We are rocking! interesting we've got some rich soil out here as well maybe plop a uh, plop a cotton field out here Come on, Landora. You can do it. I believe in you. This is quite good. By um, cross-pollinating their skills like this, hopefully they'll all become skilled at... So if w worse comes to worse, one of them does die, hopefully it won't be the end of the world, like it has been in other games. Okay now, monkey. Are you still maddened? How long do you stay maddened for, I wonder? That's nice, we've got a little thermal vent here as well for later on. Assuming I get that far.
You're right, Lando, are you struggling with that leg, are you? I hate building furniture. You've done a sterling job, look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, so let's not go for steel, shall we? Let's just go for anything but steel. So wood and stone. Yep, wood and stone sounds good. You guys can knock yourselves out with that. See what interesting stories we come up with today. So you're just going to be mad forever, are you? You're just going to be a pack of mad things outside my door. That's really not good. Because um, at some point, I'm going to need to go out there. Okay, have we got any stone yet? Yes, we've got 41 marble, 17 limestone, a little bit of granite, a little bit of sandstone. Interesting. Well, I might reinforce these walls on the inside then. Do that one on the outside. Don't need to reinforce the steel. Come on, let's get this research done. How much meat? We've got four meats left. Right, we might have to have another one of these deer. <laughs> They're not going to last very long at this rate. we got down here. Anything to eat down here? Oh, we've got another deer. Six, seven. Bunnies. Is it gone? It's gone. It's gone. Okay, it's gone. That's good. Right, let's have that lot. Apart from a squirrel. We don't need to eat a squirrel. Good shot. Rosier sprouts. I'm going to completely forget where they are. Like I always do. I don't think I've ever harvested ambrosia. Oh, this is so good. Are you guys happy? Yeah, quite happy, but extremely low expectations is going to go soon. Slept on the ground, awful barrack, very ugly environment. A cute animal nuzzled me. Oh, that's adorable.
Ah, oh, I'm so full of hope. Hope and joy. Two emotions that I really have in RimWorld. It's quite strange we haven't had a raid yet. It's got to be like the 5th or 6th or 7th day for the colony. Maybe even more. That's fine. We've got the wooden support there, so the roof's not going to collapse. Or if it does, it's going to collapse that way. <laughs> I hope. Good. Right, let's get this research done. We can make you guys some nice clothes. We should have plenty of skins. Yeah, we've got skins coming out of our ears. We've got very eerie skin. Venison's rotted away. Yeah, it wasn't much left. Yeah, we've got a good measure here. F 15 meals, I think, is for good, for good measure as far as wastage. 20 degrees. Late summer. So that's limestone, is it? Okay, right, let's have a think about this. Let's get the limestone in up here then. If we go across here. How's that then? Any more bunnies? Hmm, a little bit further out. We have this buck. Let's have this buck. Sorry, buck. That's good. We're doing okay for meds. We've got meds growing in our own back garden. So we've got lots of berries. That's good. I wish they'd also pick berries that are in their location. Common sense, wouldn't it? Rimworld, unfortunately, disables the common sense machine. Meow! Oh, well done, Abaniera. You're a great hunter, do you know that? You're a really good hunter. I'm so proud of you. Not wasting any time. Straight on the old butching table. Look at that. So good. So we're making jam and mushroom surprise, are we? Anastasia just cleaning up after herself. Oh, these guys, I swear, are so good. Right, how are we doing for steel? We've got loads of steel. That's good. Right, as soon as this research is done, we're in business. We are in business. So what else have we got? We've got marble. What's this? It's granite.
good. So then maybe sit the guns behind. Maybe we stick guns right in there. I don't know. Guns are a long way away. Guns are a very long way away. We need cowboy hats first. Cowboy hats, then electricity, then guns. That's how the tech tree works. Yay! Oh, that's superb. Right, let's get this built straight away then. Uh, hand tailor bench. Where should we put that? Be right there. Right, who is my builder? Landoa. You need wood. Oh, damn it. We had loads of wood. What's wrong with you people? Blimey, where do I don't know where it would go. It's not like it grows on trees or anything. She loves her new job. Bit of construction. Landoa's all over it. She is on it like a car bonnet. Trump wall is nearly completed. Friendly AI, yada yada yada. Yep. Yeah. Seen it before. I'm not going to tame the thrombos until we've got uh, at least some more weapons because uh, when the thrombos go bad, I mean, there's a, there's, I mean, it's like about a three or four percent chance of it going wild and attacking you. And it did that in one of my previous colonies and absolutely ate my face. It was horrific. So at the moment, I mean, we're doing really well here. If we lose one or two colonists we're in trouble so we're not going to go for anything risky we're going to go nice and smooth and steady until uh, we get big guns and flamethrowers and rocket launchers and cowboy hats and then we can start pushing the boat out a bit and trying to tame some thrombos I think one of the worst ones in a previous episode was a muffalo that went berserk whilst we were trying to tame it. And it wasn't just one, it was like an entire herd of muffalo. And they went absolutely insane and completely wrecked my colony. It was horrible, because I love muffalo. They're strange human faces. That's why I keep looking around, I keep waiting for a herd of muffalo to come wandering in. And when they do, it'll be the happiest day of my life. Happier than the day that I discovered that um, I was a boy and stuff. See, now we don't have to be frightened of wolves or anything. Unless our dog decides to go up there. Um, let's actually, while I'm thinking about that, because my Yorkie did go for a little wander up there. Okay, animal area three. Okay, that's completely unrestricted inside of our home, animal area three.
Right, so you can go where you like as long as you're in the home. Okay? Inspiration. Go Frenzy! Yay! Someone's happy. Right, so that's animal area three. Where's our animals? Animals! Here we go. Alright, you. Animal area three. Get in there. Where's the cat? There's a cat. Three-legged cat called Crouton. Yeah, Crouton has got his tail torn off by a fox and his front leg ripped off as well, his left leg. So, poor little thing. Yeah, meow. I've only got three legs. Meow. And where's our husky? We've got a husky around here somewhere. Husky. Oh, there he is. Husky called Goldie. Who's obviously named by someone that's colourblind. Oh, you're restricted indoors. I'm sorry about that. That was because there was something nasty out there that I was frightened about. Yeah, you go, you go outside, you've probably been having your little legs crossed together. Inspiration go friendly. So Landoa, the tender. Excellent. So she's going bonkers. What are you doing over here? Oh, you're building a wall outside. Okay, that's fine. You go for it. You, you, you do it. That's good. Ah, research project, thank you, thank you, thank you. Electricity or beds? Beds for happiness, electricity for survival, I think. Because winter's coming and we're going to need something warm. Hopefully this will unlock... Unlock radiators. We need to build solar panels. Oh my goodness, we need to research them. Hopefully we can do turbines. There's no turbines listed. Oh my goodness, this tech tree is really tricky. Our tech level Neolithic. Make passive coolers. They have a tendency to blow up apparently. That's good. Okay, we're doing all right. God, this is going to take them forever. That was a thousand. Oh, we've got a clothing bench. Oh, it's so good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, um, Parkers, let's have five of them. And a cowboy hat, and a tribal headdress, and a bowler hat, and a war veil. Wow. And a war mask. Let's get some pants, because you guys haven't got any pants yet. And got some jackets as well. It's a bit greedy, isn't it? Let's let's wait for that. Uh, let's make some t-shirts so. Awesome. Grouse is on it. Look at this! Oh my goodness, these guys are going to have clothes, they're going to have cowboy hats. It's going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. I'm so happy. You guys are awesome. Good. Now we've got this nice big prison up here with no prisoners. It's almost like I want a raid to happen. I don't. I don't want a raid to happen, but I almost do want a raid to happen. If we get a raid, then we can get some more people to come and join us. Because we are very ethical jailers. We're going to treat them nice, treat them good. Even though they come at us and try to stab us in the face. I mean, hopefully, we can get a few more people in here. So yeah, once the wall's done, I can start thinking about getting some communal areas set up in the middle here and some individual houses so that these guys can have their own space because communal beds are fun for about a day or two and then you start getting a bit pissed off because the person next to you uh, snores or uh, 
talks in their sleep or has really smelly feet. So there are times where you just need to get away. Look at this, Grouse has got a cowboy hat on already. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And it's poor. It's a poor cowboy hat, Grouse. But it's better than no cowboy hat. Right, how's the food going? Bad. Okay. Uh, let's get some bushes. I was getting so excited I forgot about making them have food. Right. Anything else to eat? It's a rat. Visitors! Oh, trade. Excellent. We'll go for that. Right, what have we got down here? We've got another buck down here. I don't want to take him because he's going to... Let's go for a doe instead. So those guys can keep breeding. We've got over here a tortoise. Babbits. Okay, where's these people? Peeps? Peeps trades? What? Oh my god, we're all dead. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way, there's no way in hell I can rescue her. I'm sorry, you are bug food. Very Akai, Slowpoke, Chemical Interest. Good at medicine. Well, hopefully you got some uh, meds on you. You managed to take one of them out. They're asleep, though. Oh, my God. They're asleep. Oh, risk versus reward. Go for it. You're going to have to be very, very careful here. If I don't like the look of this, I'm just going to run the hell away. This is really risky. Depends which way she wants to go home as well. Not that way. No. Oh, she's dead. She downed? Or dead? Can I go through? <gasps> oh my god! 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 That was really risky. <laughs> oh. Now, hopefully, because she wasn't hostile to begin with, hopefully she'll just. Uh, Get a bit of med medical from us. And where are we putting her? Oh, you've dropped her. She died. Oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Sorry. What'd you drop? You dropped some pemmican and some mega scarab and a steel knife. Worth. I don't know. Shouldn't be worth that much. It's not worth the risk. Where are you going, Lendoa? Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? What? 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 What the hell are you doing? No, forbid. 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 
Forbid. Oh, that was close. <laughs> she almost marched straight in there. Oh dear. Oh, you've got to be so careful in this game. Good. Okay. Well, that was anticlimaxed. But nobody's dead. Everyone's still alive. Research is coming along. Electricity next, after cowboy hats. So, this has been Piggy's Palace. Thank you so much for stopping by. We shall see you again for more exciting adventures in the world of Rim.